okay the, these are some general we have to find general solution of some trigonometric equation so sin x is equal to 0 so first of all sin x is equal to 0 you know x 0 is the solution because sin 0 degree is equal to 0 so first solution of this trigonometric equation is 0 then pi is equal to 0 then 2 pi 2 pi is also a solution of this trigonometric equation then sin 3 pi is also 0 to 3 pi is also the solution of this trigonometric equation similarly 4 pi 5 pi and so on so these are the solution of this trigonometric equation so 0 can be written as 0 pi and remember in anti clockwise also that is plus pi and minus pi both the solution of this trigonometric equation similarly plus minus 2 pi plus minus 3 pi plus minus 4 pi and this so these all are solution of this trigonometric equation so i can write the solution in this way x is equal to n pi where n is an integer so it means if I am putting n is equal to any integer, suppose 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 2. So, this is the general solution of this trigonometric equation. So, x is equal to 0. So, you know, x pi by 2 is the first solution. x equal to pi by 2. 3 pi by 2 is the solution. Then, 5 pi by 2 is the solution. So these all are solution of this trigonometric equation. So I can write this expression like this 2n plus 1 pi by 2. It means for n is equal to 0, you will get first solution for n is equal to 1. This solution, if you are putting n is equal to 2, you will get this solution. So where, where n is an integer. So this is the solution, general solution of this trigonometric equation. Now tan x is equal to 0, so you know tan x is sin x upon cos x which is equal to 0. So this implies if this fraction is 0, it means numerator is 0, that is sin x is equal to 0. And sin x is equal to 0, you know the general solution, x is equal to n pi where n is an integer. So tan x is equal to 0 are having same general solution. Similarly, cot x is equal to cos x upon sin x. This implies cos x is equal to 0. And you know cos x is equal to 0 will give this general solution. x is equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 where n is an integer. So cot x and cos x are having same general solution. Cot x equal to 0, cos x equal to 0. Remember, sec x can never be 0 and cos x can never be 0. So, these are our important general solutions. Okay, so now these are another some situations in general. Suppose you have a situation sin x is equal to sin alpha. So, how will you write the general solution for this type of trigonometric equation? You will write x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n. This is the permanent thing. And alpha first principal solution you will have to write. So remember this thing. Sin x is equal to sin alpha means this. Now if cos x is equal to alpha, then x will be 2n pi plus minus alpha. And where alpha is this value. Okay. So, this. and obviously n is an integer, n is an integer. Now, if tan x is equal to tan alpha, then x is equal to n pi plus alpha, where alpha will be the first principal solution and n is an integer. And for these three trigonometric equations, whether sin square x is equal to sin square alpha, cos square x is equal to cos square alpha, or tan square x is equal to tan square alpha, the common solution for these three equations is x is equal to n pi, x is equal to n pi plus minus n where n is an integer. So these are the
general solution of some quadratic equation. Okay. So, for example, I have taken two question. So, how to solve these trigonometric? So, I am taking this question first of all by multiplying by four. So, four cos square theta minus four sine theta and minus one equal to zero. So, I can make it quadratic in sign. So, cos square theta can be written as minus one equal to zero. Now. Four minus four sine square theta minus minus one equal to zero. So minus four sine square theta and minus four sine theta four minus one plus three is equal to zero. We can multiply with minus. So four sine square theta plus four sine theta and minus three equal to zero. Now we can factorize it. Four three is twelve. And six minus two four because it is quadratic in sign. So four sine square theta plus six sine theta minus two sine theta and minus three equal to zero. So two sine theta can be taken as common. So two sine theta and plus three and minus common two sine theta plus three is equal to zero and two sine theta plus three. And two sub minus one. So this is the factorization. Now we have to find the trigonometric equation. So I can take here final final expression. So two sine theta plus three equal to zero, or two sine theta minus one equal to zero. So this will give sine theta is equal to three by two, which is impossible because sine theta lies between minus and one. From here, sine theta is equal to one by two. And you know the first principal solution of this equation: sine theta is equal to sine pi by six. Now remember, sine sine alpha. So the general solution will be n pi. Plus minus one to the power n and the value of alpha. So this is the general solution of this trigonometric equation. Now come to this question. So cot square theta minus you can open this bracket minus cot theta minus under root cot theta plus under root three equal to zero. So from these two cot theta can be as a common. So cot theta minus one and minus And cot theta minus one equal to zero. Now cot theta minus one and cot theta minus under root three equal to zero. Now we can prove these three questions. Cot theta is equal to one, and from this bracket cot theta is equal to under root three. So while solving the trigonometric equation, we will transform in the tan. So if cot theta is equal to the reciprocal of cot is tan theta is equal to one. And here from tan theta is equal to one upon under root three. So now write first principal solution. So tan theta is equal to tan pi by four. Now remember the situation. Tan theta is equal to tan alpha. So the solution will be n pi plus pi by four. And tan theta. So one upon under root three. Tan pi by six. So the general solution is n pi plus Pi by six. So these are the solution of trigonometric equation.